welcome guys to the next part part 4 and this part I'm going to uh, select assessment zone for each room and now I'm starting from the kitchen as you can see selected the I selected the kitchen I gave it the name from here So from here, let's go to select, find the kitchen. Yeah, this kitchen. And there is visual task uh, lags. Uh, that's the standard, like that. And here the work plan for the kitchen. And I'm not going to change that's a, a default so now it's done select the next room come here restroom and there's virtual tax for the here 100 lux and also work plan zero point five meter for a hall Find the hall. Filling uh, copy, description disk. So from head change. Mm. Educational building. Corridor area on corridor. Yeah, that's a uh, corridor. So hundred lakhs for here also uh, I'm going to give it uh, assessment done for here maybe 10 centimeter uh, zero point one that's it that's is assessment zone for the first floor So now you can choose for the second floor as same. So how to create assessment zone for the star? From here calculation object, go calculation object, rectangle and calculation object and create a, a zone in here. So now go to the elevation. The to give it a uh, rotation so right click then move I corrected the uh, assessment zone for a uh, stair because uh, I I'm going to have a uh, a zone in the in here so we need to create a zone because I we calculated uh, 
according to this zone how much uh, lags we need to in here as you can see we can copy and uh, appear in the elevation so you have to go to the site plan and from here right click copy and paste now you can move it here and just give it minus 45 40.5 degree to create it ceiling for each room from here go to the side uh, I'm going to as a ceiling and room draw new ceiling Yeah, that's the ceiling that now just created and here the properties for the ceiling distance of shell floor ceiling white ceiling thickness closed side side offset that's the roof height so you can change uh, if you want go to the 3d and this is the ceiling that we created if you go to the elevation and you can see very well how and now from here you can change the distance between the ceiling and roof and also you can change the height of the ceiling as you wish 
and also the thickness for ceiling for the I want to have three point five meter. So if you change the ceiling height, at the first distance will be automatically changed. So now I want to cut the roof above this floor. So we need to cut the roof from here. This is the uh, roof of first floor or the floor for the second floor. Now go to the elevation and from here you can see uh, position size and cutting depth because the floor thickness is 0 0.2 centimeter I am going to choose the 0 0.2 I don't need to cut more. As you can see now, I cut it the uh, floor of the second floor, but still we have uh, roof uh, of the first floor. So now we, I'm going to remove. Yeah, this is the roof for the first floor. Still there is. As you see, we have in here floor and roof. So I don't need both of them. I just need one in here. Uh, I'm going to remove a roof for the first floor and using just uh, floor of the second floor for the roof so from here this building one and I change it the height of this building to 3.8 so now I have a roof and floor so now Let's fix it and you can, you can change here this color to pick color and apply material. Now this we created the cut it the roof in here. For for the second floor also it's easy just do the ceiling I'm not going to draw and uh, select for each room and then I change it the uh, high for the ceiling three point five just insert ceiling for the edge room and then you change it the uh, high for the all of them so now select 3.5 3.5 thanks for watching see you the next video